HISD is giving us a look at the new school buses outfitted with a three-point seatbelt system. This comes now after two students were killed and three others injured in a terrible crash that happened on September 15th of last year. A car struck that school bus and then pushed it off the 610 freeway onto Telephone Road below. Now, a couple of months ago in June, the district updated its code of student conduct that requires students riding buses equipped with this type of seatbelt to actually wear it. Channel 2's Ryan Korsgaard is joining us live with more on this. Ryan? Hey, Bill, you know, we all have these in our cars. We've had them for a long time. Well, now some school buses will have these. And a reminder, you got to click it. That is the new sound on 63 of HISD's new buses, three-point seat belts. The district's 63 new buses for regular education are equipped with the safety gear and soon reminders on the windows and already on the seat backs. It actually has a sign that says fasten seat belt on there. So when students sit down, they'll know that they're required to fasten their three-point seat belt. At the beginning of last school year, a school bus crashed, killing two students and seriously injuring two others, including Brandon Williams and his twin sister. Brandon talked to KPRC2 from his hospital bed. It was just like all of a sudden, like, you know how I freak, like a panic. Mm -hmm. Everybody started panicking. Since then, his mother and others have lobbied for seatbelts in school buses. Now, the three-point seatbelts are recommended by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. They come at a cost of $8,000 per bus. We're going to have to double check, make sure they, they buckle up. So this time, for the first year ever, it will change what a bus driver sitting here in front of the steering wheel looks for in her rearview mirror. Well, we have to check with the kids. We'll make sure the seatbelts are on and make sure that everyone is buckled down. So in all, HISD has about 1,100 buses. About 90 of them have these three-point belts. And down here, about 430 lap belts. We're live today. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.